Good evening. It's Saturday, June 20th, 2020, and I want to remember the time in the early 1990s when I went to a taping of the Oprah Winfrey Show in Chicago. I was working uh, downtown at a uh, law firm called uh, Katz, Friedman, Schur, and Eagle. And uh, uh, I remember I, w uh, I was on my way into work one morning, and I, th I think I had stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts to get some coffee, and uh, they were playing... Um, oh, uh, I think the Dunkin' Donuts shop was right across the street from the ABC Studios, which is the network that carried the Oprah Winfrey show. And I'm not certain if her... I don't think her studio was located there because hers was somewhere else in the Haymarket uh, district, the... Harpo Studios, they were called. Well, anyway, I heard on the radio while I was in this um, Dunkin' Donuts getting coffee, you know, call this telephone number for free tickets to the Oprah Winfrey show. So I must have written it down because, or maybe my memory was better back then. Anyway, so when I got to uh, work and all, I started calling um, uh, the Oprah Winfrey show, the telephone number. And, oh, I called it for weeks and weeks and, you know, always, it was always busy or whatever, you know, it was a crapshoot, you know, you had to dial it until somebody actually answered the phone. Well, anyway, someone finally answered the phone after weeks or months, you know, I mean, I was pretty uh, OCD even back then. So, uh, so I got four tickets. I think it was four. Anyway. Yeah, uh, to the Oprah Winfrey show. So the first thing I did was I called my sister, who was a, back then, she was a big fan of uh, Oprah Winfrey. Now I think she's a bigger fan of Paula Dean. Times change. Anyway, <laughs> so my sister was all excited. Oh, we'll go to the taping of the Oprah Winfrey show and all. Well, whatever day it was, and it was in the fall, I remember, of... I don't know, sometime in the early 90s. Well, the day of the taping, I don't know what sorry-ass excuse my sister had. She wasn't able to go uh, to the taping for whatever reason. So I asked this other friend. I, I mean, I didn't want to lose the opportunity. It was Oprah. So um, I asked this uh, woman uh, that I knew. Her name was Nurse Julie. Oh, she was big. Um, she was the um, uh, uh, public health nurse at Howard Brown Health Center, where I, I eventually was working and all. Well, she brought her mother with her as well. So all three of us went down to the Harpo Studios. And I remember when we got there, we're, I don't, there was a line of people for the audience, but we were ticket holders and all, and we were let into the studios, and it was cold. It was like a refrigerator in there, you know, because of the taping and the equipment and all of the cameras and the lights and all of that. I mean, it was really cold. cold. So anyway, we're in the sitting in the audience and all, and then out comes Oprah, you know, Oprah, woohoo! I mean, like a rock star and all, you know. It was a lot of fun. And, um... Oh, uh, the t the topic of the show, I think the day before it had been uh, Jane Fonda was on uh, or something. Well, for today's show, it was a much more serious topic. I think it was um, uh, uh, shining a light on the awful practice of female genital mutilation. I know. So there was that. But... Uh, because it was right before Christmas, um, you know, Oprah likes to give her gifts and all. Well, it wasn't, you know, the look under your seat, there's an automobile under there or whatever she did. But you looked under your seat and there was this book. I think everybody in the audience got one. And, and it was a book about arts and crafts made by... Uh, women uh, in cultures from all around the world. I mean, it was a beautiful 
co uh, coffee table type book, beautiful photographs and all. Well, I regifted that for that <laughs> Christmas and all, but that was my Oprah experience and it was fabulous. I hope you're fabulous. Bye.